Today we're going to be tying up a jig pattern I like to call the Shadow Dragon. The name comes from the Shadow Spawn Okashira Jig Head by Mega Bass and the Mangum's Dragon Tail here in the back. I designed this pattern to be a bait fish or leech imitation with a ton of movement and it's meant to be fished shallow. It's only a 1 8 ounce jig head and it creates a nice dark silhouette in the water with some bright red accents to help the fish key in on it. And the action you get with this jig is great in still water and moving water but I especially love to fish this in the streams and rivers where that current will impart additional action on these materials. The rubber legs and that micro dragon tail just move really really well in the flowing water. And so far, it's really effective for walleye and smallmouth bass. And now just a couple of really quick announcements before we get started here. A couple of you recently used my affiliate codes, and I just wanted to say thank you. That is far and away the best possible way you can support me and the channel and help it grow and help me make more content. There's a link in the description of all of my videos to my link tree, which contains all of my affiliate links and discount codes. And I do every type of fishing, so chances are there's going to be some something there for you and that list continues to grow so if you guys don't mind checking that out if you're in the market for some premium awesome fishing gear it really really helps if you guys use those links the second announcement is I'm getting very close to being ready for my 100 jig giveaway and I've done some math and it's kind of hard to put a value on my work because I'm not a professional jig tire but just in jig heads and materials alone the cost of these jigs is about $500. And if I were to charge a similar price to what people are charging for these types of jigs that are in my giveaway, it's roughly a $750 to $800 value. So it's a pretty big giveaway, and if you guys are interested in winning those jigs, all you have to do is be a subscriber and hit the bell notification so you get notified when the giveaway goes live, or you can go and follow me on my Facebook page because I'll be announcing the giveaway over there as well. All right, that's enough talking, let's tie a jig. Today we're going to be tying on the 1 8 ounce Okashira Jig Head by Mega Bass in Shadow Spawn Color. Before we get started tying, we first need to remove this bait keeper from our jig head and you can do that however you like. I personally like to do it just by snapping my fingers. Next I'm going to lay down a base layer of thread from the jig head down to the start of the hook's bend and today I'm going to be tying with some 2 tin denier flat waxed nylon in black color. Next we're going to tie in the tail and for that I'm going to be using a Mangum's Micro Dragon Tail in black color. And you can use the full length of this tail for this pattern if you prefer but I'm going to shorten mine up by about three quarters of an inch. And to shorten it up I'm just going to strip the fibers from the first three quarters of an inch of this tail. And now I'm just going to tie in my shortened tail right where I stopped that thread. Next I'm going to add some flash and for that I'm going to use some Sinyo's Aqua Veil Chenille in Chocolate Covered Cherry. I'm just going to take about a 5 inch piece of that chenille and I'm going to tie that in about a quarter inch away from the tail and then palmer it up the hook shank. Next we're going to tie in the body and for that I'm going to be using a hairline cross cut rabbit strip in black color. To prepare the rabbit strip I'm first just going to strip the hairs from the first three quarters of an inch of that hide and then I'm going to tie it in to the hook shank. Next I'm going to apply a line of super glue halfway up the hook shank and then I'm going to wrap my rabbit strip around the hook shank and stop about a quarter inch from the head where I'll tie it off. Next I'm going to tie in some rubber legs and for that I'm going to be using some red tipped black crazy legs by Hairline. And for this pattern I'm just going to be using four rubber legs in total. With my thread positioned against the jig head I'm just going to fold these rubber legs over my thread right down the middle and then I'm going to tie that in right to the base of the hook shank. 
Once the legs have been tied in, I'm going to position them on either side of the jig and then hold them at a downward angle as I make a few wraps just until those legs are along the sides of the hook shank. Once the legs have been positioned on the side of the hook shank, I'm then going to hold those in line with the hook shank and finish tying them in right down to that rabbit strip. Once the legs have been tied in, I'm then just going to use a material clip to get those legs and the rest of the materials out of the way. Next, I'm going to form a dubbing loop just in front of where we finish tying in those legs, and then I'm going to move my thread out of the way using my bobbin holder off screen. And I'll secure my dubbing loop using my Smain Master Dubbing Twister. Next, using my Loon Material Tweezers, I'm going to prepare some black rabbit hair from the remainder of our cross-cut rabbit strip to be placed into the dubbing loop. And before I place my prepared rabbit hair into my dubbing loop, I'm going to add some dubbing wax to the thread. Now I'll place my rabbit hair into the dubbing loop, give it a nice spin, and wrap it up to the front of the jig head where I'll tie it off. Now I'm just going to use a bit of moisture to stroke this rabbit hair back out of the way and then I'm going to perform a couple of five turn whip finishes. And now to finish up I'm just going to snip the tips of my rubber legs just to separate them and then I'll remove that material clip. And here we have it folks, the finished product, a completed shadow dragon. And right now these rubber legs are hanging down because of gravity, but in the water they'll run parallel to the jig. So let's head over to the mini testing tank and take a look. Alrighty, that's gonna do it for the video and I hope you guys did enjoy it. I'm gonna be leaving links to all of the materials and tools used today down in the description of the video. Have an awesome day and I will see you guys in the next one.